My name is Arden O'Connor. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I got diagnosed with acute myelogenous leukemia when I was 26, and the coral reef saved my life. My first round of chemo, when I first got hospitalized, that was the hardest. I was very, very sick. They joked, one of the doctors told me if I told you to eat glass and that was going to cure it, you'd do it. And that was very true. I was never questioning anything about the meds and, and where they came from. I just said, i got to assume this is the best we've got. Interestingly, many of these things that we find in these coral reefs, it really made a difference in terms of making it possible to cure patients. The drug that's now in the clinic was associated with a sponge. It's a very effective drug for treating acute leukemia. We're learning more and more and more every day about what healing compounds we're finding on coral reefs. Some of these animals have developed protections that we can take advantage of and we're learning about all sorts of medicines that we may use to heal ourselves. I've been an advanced uh, certification scuba diver for the past few years. My family has spent a really uh, long amount of time in the Caribbean. I've grown up going to the Caribbean. It was the main place we visited. So um, I've spent a good amount of time around coral reefs and had, it was actually ironic that I had no knowledge that these things that are so beautiful that I felt um, privileged enough to actually go and experience firsthand as a scuba diver were contributing to my health today. Coral reefs are the most diverse habitat in the oceans. There are thousands of fish and corals and other reef organisms and plants on coral reefs. We're just discovering what is there. The numbers, it's just impossible to know what is there at this point. Everything is sort of interconnected, so the health of the coral reefs is important for the fish. The coral itself is dependent on fungi that protect them from their predators and we live off these products too because they help us treat disease and, and give us ideas about how nature works. Really most of my energies go into causes that help people around homelessness and at-risk youth. Um, but knowing that it does sort of reframe the way you think about, for me at least, the way I think about the environment and um, how protective we should be around preserving our oceans.